Okay. Let's get her done. I need a pen. Let's see here. Okay. Alrighty. We are going to get some face done this morning. Good morning. Hey, Gina. Hey, Chastity. Hey, Ravonda. Hey, Amy. Hey, Cindy. Good morning. Hey, Becky Taylor. Hey, Stephanie. Good morning. Hi, Kaylee. Hey, hey. Good morning. It's freezing here. It's like 27 degrees, like, and it's March. Like, I can't deal. Do y'all see this? This came up yesterday. I have a friend. I never get friends. I haven't had a friend in a long time, but this needs to go away. It's like that little wart on your nose, you know? <laughs> Good morning, Lonnie. Hey. Good morning. Hey, Candy. Hey, Tiffany. Oh, you people that are just jumping on that seen me showing my little... That was probably scary for you guys, right? Hey. Good morning. Hey, Kay. Thanks for jumping on with me. Look, everybody asked me about this. I was going to go ahead and talk. You know, I drink kombucha every morning. And what it is, it's a uh, fermented drink that helps put healthy bacteria in your gut. It's really good for you. You should drink it. If you have trouble with your stomach, it's, it's a great, great way to... Um, Help your gut, okay? So everybody asked about this. This is a hibiscus blend, but this is this is the brand. Everybody's been asking. It's up dog kombucha. Look, it's like a little bulldog doing like a um, a, uh, a sit up, you know, like a yoga pose. And it tells you what it is. And they're out of Winston Salem, North Carolina, but you can find them on Facebook at at up dog kombucha, or you can go to their website. It's www updogkombucha.com. So that's what I drink. And this is called a growler. If you live close here in Danville, um, Kathy Fowler at Nature's Essentials has it on tap. You pay $12 for the growler. When you get your refills, you pay 10 bucks and it lasts me about a week. So I go about once a week and get it, um, pulled up. So let me catch up. Everybody's talking here. Hey Becky. Good morning. Good morning, Janie. The sweater does wonders for my eyes. I know. I have really super duper green eyes. I love green. It's my boo. I know, Candy. I've seen Kelly in that blue. That new blue, electric blue. I forget what the color is. She just got that in and it looked great on her. I don't think she was feeling it so much, but I loved it. Hey, Kay. Good morning, Chastity. So, okay. If you, you know, up dog kombucha. That's what we're drinking this morning. So, let's get a flawless face done. I'm going to jerk out my velour and my taffeta this morning. I put a little bit of tanning spray on my face last night, so I'm hoping I don't have to use as much of this velour. It's a little bit of a lighter shade. I still prefer to use my, my powder concealer brush to put my makeup on. It's my favorite. So, um, yeah. So, we're going to get a flawless face done here. Good morning, Danielle. Hey, Laurie. Hey, Jill. Hey, Teresa. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in with me today. So today, um, we're going to change our focus a little bit. Not talk about flawless face so much, but we're going to talk about um, this awesome... I still want to talk about this hypnotic and exotic collection that I talked about yesterday. But um, we've, you know, right now, you keep seeing this picture floating around Facebook of this quad palette. And it's a rose gold quad palette. And everybody is about to lose their mind over it. But I'm going to show you that quad palette because we're going to do rose gold today because I got out my rose gold jewelry that my husband got me for Christmas. Thank you, Kendra Scott. Love it. My husband is awesome. I have to show you guys this necklace I have on anyway. It is um, the clasp on it. I'll show you real quick. Look at this clasp. It is awesome. So, like, it, you can, like, adjust it to any like level that you want to wear it at. I'm obsessed with the clasp on this necklace. And then you can like turn it around and wear, wear it long in the front and take the pendant off. Oh my God, it's so pretty. I love it. Good morning, Lori. Thanks for tuning in. Hey, Dan. Good morning. Hey, Miss Leanne. I see you creeping on with me this morning. See, does this, um, does this taffeta foundation look a little bit orange to you guys? See, it, in the summer, it's good. But I have to mix it with a little bit of velour because I feel like it looks a little bit dark. Okay, well, I'm in this big old sweater and I'm sweating already. So let me go turn on the fan. It gets hot in this room. But the air duct is like right there, like blowing on me. Okay, so 
Yeah. Squirrel. <laughs> I'm sweating. I'm sweating. <laughs> Can't have it. Okay. So we are going to talk about today two ways to create a rose gold look. You may already have, um, if you have palette five already in your beauty bag, you are going to be excited. And I want to tell you guys something. If you've been trying to create these looks that, that you see all these presenters do, and you feel like it's not looking quite the same, there's a few things you want to take into consideration. Um, our eyeshadow palettes and our, our, um, and our addiction palettes are very pigmented palettes. So when you put those on, you're going to get easy blending. It's going to blend down real easy. You're not going to have to do a lot of work with the makeup. The makeup should do the work for you. If you're having to work really hard to get your makeup to look a certain way and you're using another beauty brand, I advise you to switch over because my makeup never looked like it does now before I started using Unique. And trust me, the struggle was real. So I feel you if you if you say, I see her do that every day and mine never looks that way. But if you're using another beauty brand, you're probably not going to get that look because these are so pigmented and they blend down so easily. That's 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 the key, okay? The other thing is tools. If you're not oop. <laughs> Alrighty, let's get that out of the floor. If you don't have the right tools to put on your makeup, you're not going to get the right look either. So tools are important. A lot of people don't like to spend the money on good tools. You don't have to have high dollar tools, but there's a couple that you do want to invest in because they're going to last longer and you're going to get the right look. There's about five brushes in the Unique line that I will not live without, and this is one of them. It's a $42 brush, but I've had it well over a year and it's still in really great shape. So it's going to hold up for you. Uh, most of these are either uh, synthetic hair or natural animal hair so they're gonna be really really great and they're gonna hold up okay so we've got our base face on I've got to go in with a little bit of velour concealer and we got to get rid of this wart on my nose because it is getting on my nerves so I'm gonna put just a little bit on the tip of my blending bud and all you want to do is just kind of tap that in you just want to tap it tap 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 I'm having trouble tapping it in myself. So we want to get rid of that. We want that to go away. We're concealing. And you could actually conceal before you put on your liquid foundation, but I'm going to just cover this little red bump on my nose. That's pretty good. You know, another thing that is really good to cover... Um, Dark circles, I've never told you guys this, but it's a trick we were doing a way while back. But if you have really dark circles under your eyes, do you know what you put under there? An orange base or a red base eyeliner or lipstick. You put it under here and then you go over your over it with your concealer and you're going to get amazing coverage. Like it's going to look like you have no dark circles. So if you have black skin or like, you know, uh, if you have Indi if you have Indian descent and you tend to have like it's just it's just hereditary like the darkness that you get under here um it'll come it'll it'll cover it will cover so all right let me catch up because i've been talking a lot thank you leanne for the hair comment hey Lori, good morning i caught deanne hey norma thanks for jumping on with me good morning anita hey the brush for brows is a must i know I, I'm all about the, the brow brush. Um, Danielle's talking about our artist brow brush. This one, this is an awesome, it's got a flat end and an angled end on it. I love it as well. It's it's very, very um, precise, isn't it, Danielle? It's, it gives you very precise um, coverage. It'll, it'll let you do just about anything you want to to those brows. So I'm using Scarlet Concealer now, and we're just going to go right up underneath this eye, and we're going to brighten up a little bit. So we're going to get on our flawless face, and then we're going to get this rose gold look going this morning. Hey, Penny. Good morning. How are you, girl? I think this is the first time I've caught you on one of my lives. Yay. Welcome. All right. So, don't I look a little more awake already? Don't I look more refreshed? Oh, Lord, yes. Hunty. Jesus, take the wheel. And thank you for concealer. You are bomb.com. 
love this concealer. So update on the retinol. We've still been talking about that. I put the retinol on again. What was yesterday? Thursday? Actually, I think I put it on Wednesday night. I was a day ahead of schedule. Um, I haven't had a lot of peeling. I'm still doing really good with the rose water. That seems to be working really well for me. And I'm still using the, um, the um, night cream from Unique and the, um, the Uplift Serum as a barrier on my face before I apply it. And it has given me awesome results. I'm getting awesome results. So um, I'm not seeing a lot of changes in my skin from the retinol yet, but I think that's gonna take some time. So that's the retinol update for the ones that have been tracking that with me. Um, there you go. So I wanna get in the corner of that eye. You know, you get that really little dark mark in the corner of your eye. It makes your eyes look like they're bruised. Good morning, Penny. How are you, girl? Mmm. Fresh, fluffy snow in Ohio. Oh, girl. Penny, what town do you live in? Penny Eckleberry. Good morning, Kim. How are you, girl? Kim, you straight up killed that training yesterday, girl. I was so pumped up. Like, you know, I was going to go get a hairdo, and I just wanted to work. Like, I just wanted to get on my phone and freaking work. It was awesome. We've been doing some training for our girls, and Kim is a sideline sister, and she did a training for us yesterday, and she is a firecracker. She got us pumped up. It's fantastic. All right. So, let's do some brows. We're going to get this rose gold look going here in a minute. Are you all surprised I'm not doing green eyeshadow? Because you all know I love green. 25 miles south of Canton. Okay, I got you. I know where you're at now. You know, my husband is a huge fan of the Christmas story. I, why is this? Why do I think Ohio and automatically think this? Um, and he's always wanting us to drive up to the Christmas story house up there in Ohio. But I think that's Cleveland. It's like a long ways from us. It's like a haul to get up there. All right, so we're just filling in some brows with some brow pencil. Make them look real natural. My husband was like, why are you screaming at those girls? <laughs> Your husband, Kim, is hilarious. Um, I remember our conversations about him at Unified and uh, how he was like, why are you doing all this? Why are you doing this business? Is he more supportive now? It's so funny. Why are you screaming at those girls? Well, tell him you're screaming for one thing because your volume hadn't been working very well on your phone, right? It was so funny was dying because you get excited when you when you're passionate about something and when you're passionate about something you your voice level goes up you know that's hilarious 2.5 oh you're in three days with yours oh gosh Janie I'm telling you that that retinol that's that seems like a strong dose are you sure it's not 0 0.25 your name Eckleberry how do they pronounce it wrong? Like, I can't imagine how else, how else do you say Eckleberry? It's like Huckleberry, you know? Eckleberry. Well, I'm glad I pronounced it right. Because I don't pronounce a lot of things right. And God knows I have this country little accent that I just probably will never get rid of. Um, but when you go to school, when you grow up in West Virginia, and then you go to school in Kentucky, and, uh, you know, you kind of keep your little country accent. Country, honey. I did. Yay! Janie, I don't know how you're standing that dose. Lord, have mercy. My face would be on fire with that dose of retinol. I'd be burnt slim up. My face would be so red. It'd be terrible. Why does it take me so long to do brows? I mean, it takes forever. I feel like the pencil, though, I really like the, the color that the pencil gives me. I feel like it's more natural. Sometimes when I use the, the palette, I feel like my brows are so dark. It's almost like my brow color is between the blonde palette and the brown palette. So I always feel like I, I go back and forth. So let's feather these out a little bit. We'll do it. This is good. All right. Let's get on this, this rose gold look. I need to do a little bronzer here. And then we're going to do a little blusher. All right. Oh, that's my kombucha. Oh, oh. 
because I'm a perfectionist? Yes, I am. You are daggone right there, honey. It's a firstborn trait. I'm the oldest, and so I probably inherited some of that from my mom. She is like a control freak, too, and I, I inherited some of that from her. So it just is what it is. Just got to get it done. Control freak. There's nothing wrong with control freaks, right, Kim? <laughs> We run the world <laughs> and drive everybody crazy while we're doing it. <laughs> oh, Lord, bless it. My poor husband. Bless him. Bless him. I I, I feel bad for him because he has to put up with me every single day. God bless him. Oh, I'm crazy. I, he says I'm bossy. I tell him I'm just a, you know, I'm just, I'm just getting stuff done. I'm not bossy. But the term bossy does not bother me. Bossy people get stuff done, right? Everybody can't be Indians. you got to have at least one chief. <laughs> oh, you haven't peeled? That's good, Janie. I'm telling you what, that, um, that retinol, man, that's no joke. I peeled like crazy, like a snake. When I first started trying to use it the first go around, but I'm telling you, these little tips that I got off this lady on the internet, I'm like, yes, honey. Yes. I'm all for that. I'm thinking about doing a different color blush. What has gotten into me today? I feel like I need a bronzier color of blush. Maybe I'll just do um, maybe I'll just do bronzer on my cheeks. Do we want to do bronzer on the cheeks today for a little bit more of a bronzy glow? We can. Let's do a little bronze cheek. So you can use your bronzer as a blush, absolutely. And I may just go back in and put a little bit of this benevolent highlight in over it so that we get a really nice glow in it. So I like blush. I like to go heavy with the blush. So see a, a nice peachy glow. And we'll go back over this. I'll blend it down. Give me just a second. Let's use this benevolent highlighter. And I'm just going to kind of roll this all into it. So we want to we wanna keep up with that peachy glow that we're getting from the rose gold. So we're going to go crazy with the highlight. I should just get out the stick, right? The little highlight stick we have. Get it on there. Do a darker a la mode luminizer. I guess I could do that too. That's an option. I think I might have to. Let's see if we got... Um, what do I got here? This is pearly. Oh, yeah. Why didn't I think of that? Good, good job, Leanne. Yes, hunty. Now we're talking. Look at that glow. Ooh. I never do this. Do you use this, Leanne? I kind of forget about this because it's so dark. Holy mother, this is pretty. All right. Yes, honey. Yes, yes, yes. I'm digging it. I'm feeling it. I'm sweating too in this sweater. I knew better than to wear this sweater when I was on there. I'm going to have to like decompress when I get off. Okay, let's talk about the two ways you can do rose gold, okay? This is, this is great. So, right now, we have the Hypnotic and Exotic Collection, and you can use palette number five to create a rose gold look. I know you're looking at this and saying, how the heck are you going to get rose gold out of that? Watch me watch me. This is actually my favorite way to do rose gold. Now, the other thing that you see floating around is our customer kudos. ba -ching! Rose gold. So, there's a couple ways you can do this. This is my favorite colors to do rose gold with. So you've got optimistic, antsy, manipulative, and marvelous. The other substitute you can do in this palette is also fanatical. So, if you don't want to do fanatical, is like a gold, a really pretty gold color. So, you can pick from any of these colors and build your own palette right now with the customer kudos. And you're going to get a splash liquid lipstick and you're going to get an epic mascara. So, with that being said, I'm going for, because we've done this already. I did this like the other day. So, I want to show you how you can take the exotic and hypnotic collection and you can get a rose gold out of this. Okay? Now, I will be using a little bit of palette one as well. So, if you have palette one, you're going to be good to go. So let me put on some eye primer and then we're going to get her going. Hey Angela, good morning girl. Thanks for tuning in with me. My mom has any, 
my 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 mom may have Indian in her, Janie, but she is fair as fair can be, honey. She is not like tan skin and she burns like nobody's business. We have Irish blood in us. Irish German blood. That's why I look like don't I look like a German girl that talks like a country bumpkin? That's me. I'm the German girl that talks like a country bumpkin. I don't have that wonderful uh accent, you know. It's all country. <laughs> Because I grew up in the country. All right, let's start out with, um, what color are we going to start out with? What did I do? I'm trying to remember. What did I use as a base? I'm having a moment. I think I used, what did I use as a base? I think I used Elegant Splurge Cream Shadow was what I did before. So we're going to like really mix it up here. So if you already have Elegant Splurge Cream Shadow, we're going to start with that. That's what I used. Okay, so we need, or if you have palette one, you can use um, Brassy or Sincere to start out with. That'll work too. I'm gonna use Elegant Splurge Cream Shadow. I will tell you if you have eyes that tend to show creases with shadows, which these will not. Um, I, I never was a fan of a Splurge Cream Shadow until I used Unique's. Um, well, a cream shadow. Ours are called splurge cream shadows. Um, they do not crease, and they add the the cream shadows will add moisture, and they will look better on skin if you have wrinkly eyes. Okay, so if you have eyes that are a little mature, go with a splurge cream shadow. If you wear glasses, go with a color that is lighter in shade. I am a huge fan of this color, Elegant, which is my absolute favorite. Tenacious is another. It's a gorgeous um, metallic brown. And we also have um, Defiant, which is an orangey color that you could do. So you could also do this same look if you have Splurge Cream Shadows. They're sold in sets of three for 70 So grab you three and create your rose gold look. I love this. We could have used Brassy, though, out of Palette 1, I do believe. Um, but I, I, I think I recall doing this look before. I'm trying to remember what I had done before. Okay, so we're going to take Suspicious right here, and we're going to lay that. Now, these are metallics, okay? We're going to lay that on the lid. See how pretty that looks? Oh, hunty. Yes. Let's do both lids. So we are going to absolutely get a rose gold look out of this, and then I'm going to go in right with this, um, <clears throat> this crease brush, well, this is the deluxe brush, my bad, right up into the crease, okay? So lay that up in there. Get it all up in there, girls. All right. That fan feels really good back there, that extra air. Okay, so we've laid all that up in the crease. I'm missing out on what y'all are talking to me. <clears throat> Yeah, we are, we are some fair colored women. You're way darker than we are, Janie. All right. I'm trying to figure out how we're related, Janie. Like how, how that goes back. Who? It must be like three, four cousins deep. Because... What is it, Rebel? Did, did, did Johnny fall in the well? <laughs> Lassie. Squirrel. <laughs> he always comes in there. He's such a beggar. This dog begs for treats nonstop. Okay, so I'm just working this this orangey color in. This is um actually the name of this is suspicious. Okay, so now we're gonna jump over here to vintage. Um, and it doesn't show up well, but it's like an electric orange. It's like a burnt orange. Okay, and you're gonna grab your crease brush, which I need to clean mine because they're both loaded with a brown color. Let me clean it because we don't want to drag that over. All right, clean it. Get it clean. Come on. Yes, I would still use primer as a splurge with a base. Yes, I would. Because that's what's going to keep it from creasing even further, right? We do not want any creasing. Um, that's going to, that, that base with that, that primer is what's going to keep your shadows in place and keep them from settling into fine lines, okay? All right, so let's go grab Vintage, which is this color right here. So I'm going to kind of tap that in. Okay, 
and then you're gonna hit this inner we're gonna hit that crease hard okay I'm gonna kind of go back over what we did before because I like the way this is looking and we're gonna kind of drag this in here so this is gonna give you the prettiest this is actually, I, I'm going to be honest, um, I know our customer kudos right now is awesome and you get to customize that quad palette and like picking those pretty colors, but I swear, I still think palette five gives you the prettiest rose gold eye. I always go back to it. I love manipulative. It is a favorite color of mine, this orange that's in here, but the oranges that are in here are a different color and it's a different metallic. Um, this, this manipulative is more like suspicious, but vintage, the one that I'm putting on now, honey, let's just talk about that for a minute. I'm all about this color. And I never in a million years would have thought that I would love to wear orange eyeshadow. Who wears orange eyeshadow? I do. Look at that. Look at my eyes. Suckers are popping. <coughs> Mommy and Debbie are cousins. Your grandma... Good, and Grandpa, or, okay, Goodman. I don't even know who the Goodmans are, girl. That goes way too far back for me. You mean Gibson? Oh my God, I'm loving this eye right now. Me and Janie are sitting here going through the family tree while I make rose gold eyes. Who would have ever thunk it, right? <laughs> Let's work our way through the family tree. All right, so we're going to finish up this look. I told you we are going to use a little bit of palette one. Palette One's a favorite. Everybody has at least a brown usually in their in their beauty bag. Let's blend this down a little bit. I'm gonna go take this blending brush and just kind of go over it and soften everything down before we add the brown because we're gonna use the brown in the outer V. And I'm gonna go ahead and use now. You can use Marvelous or Gullible if you have those colors. You got Marvelous or Gullible is another one. It's a lighter brown. I'm going to use Forthright, which is in the brown palette, because these have been around a while, and I think you may have this in your beauty bag. So I want to help you like build on what product you already have and show you how to use it in a different way. So that's what we're doing. So we're going to hit this outer corner here with this brown Forthright, just super duper dark. We're going to blend that down. Don't, don't freak out. We're going to blend that down. <laughs> Janie, you're fine, girl. You're cracking me up. I can't keep up with all of these people. I have too many. I have a lot of family members. My dad had um, eight brothers and sisters. My mom had six. I had 17 cousins on my dad's side. And they all have wives and kids now. And it's a whole bag full of crazy. So I can't keep up with all this mess. I lost fat. I lost track of the family tree a long time ago. That thing's then branched and twisted and turned inside out. Alright, so we're just kind of shading this in a little darker here. Dark, dark, dark. Oh, hunty. This is so pretty. I feel pretty. I feel pretty. We're gonna blend. So we're kind of working that corner there and we want to get that smoothed out oh dear lord how pretty is this who likes palette five for rose gold give me some hearts i'm digging it palette five is the rose gold bomb diggity it is my favorite y'all i always go back to it and i kept thinking that this new one was going to be my favorite but it's oh look at it yes and so now, of course, you know, I'm going to go back one more time with this. I'm going to hit this orange just a little bit. We're going to brighten that up because we have blended the crap out of it. And I like to keep my, my orangey color in there. Love it. Hello. Okay, so vote. Do we want to go with a green eyeliner today since I've got a little pop of green going here? Or do we want to keep it neutral and go with a brown eyeliner? That's our options. Green or brown? Vote. I already know what my answer is, but I want to hear your, your request while I get me a drink of my kombucha. Oh, dear Lord, Janie. Don't start green. I, that's what I'm thinking, Leanne. I'm all about that green, girl. You know it. It'll make them eyes pop. 
this, oh, there's makeup falling everywhere. We got problems here. Green, 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 green. Y'all are my peoples. <laughs> Y'all are my peoples. Let's do green. Let's make it happen. All right. We're sharpening the green liner because I will tell you, our liners glide on really well, but when you sharpen it, you sterilize it, and you also are um, giving you the ability to make a really nice, smooth line. So let's go ahead and get the green on. So yes, you can mix and match liners. You do not have to stick with brown or black all the time. Get out of your comfort zone. I have two particular liners in our line that I die for. The green is one. The other one is presumptuous. It is a teal blue color. It is gorgeous on every color of eye. Blue eyes, yes. Brown eyes, yes. Green eyes, yes. Hazel eyes, yes. Gray eyes, yes, winner. So if you don't have presumptuous in your beauty bag, I highly, highly, highly recommend. And guess what? You can get it in the exotic and hypnotic collection. So there you go. And yes, you could even wear it with this rose gold eye that I created. It would look beautiful. Don't you think turquoise and orange is pretty together? So that's basically what you've got. You've got like a teal turquoise liner. And uh, that's going to be amazing. All right. So we have the liner on look. Holla. I love it. I'm all about some green eyeliner. It's my boo. Let's do some lashes. Hey, Holly. Good morning. How are you, girl? So we actually tied this shirt right in by throwing on that green liner. So it all looks like everything is pulling together. I got on my rose gold earrings. Got on my rose gold necklace. We're curling some lashes right now. All right. La, 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 la. All right. Lashes are curled. Let's do some epic. Let's get this hairs out of here. I always get black mascara on my blonde hairs. So that's why I'm tilting my head back. Do you know why women hold their mouth open like that while they're putting on mascara? Does anybody know the answer to that? I'll give y'all a minute to try to answer. Hey, Danielle. Good morning. Thanks for tuning in. All right. See, I do it with the bottom lashes. I don't know why. Cray cray. The reason... That people do that is because it keeps you from blinking holding your mouth open keeps you from blinking I don't know why but that is the answer to the question some kind of craziness going on in the brain I guess gosh I'm loving this epic so much I'm thinking about not even putting on the 3d sun came out and my eyes said Ooh. it does to keep from blinking Norma got it she shaw did we're going to do the 3D because I can't live without it I need it in my life alright you notice I give my, my wand a little, a little puff there a little blow if there's any stray um fibers on this on this one you can kind of just blow them off of there <laughs> that's what I do that's my trick you don't want them flaking down into your eye while you're trying to apply it so just get off the excess let's give it a little puff it's gone all right so we take it back out you're good to go all right let's get these lashes done oh my gosh my lashes I'm having another good lash day must be the serum because I've been more consistent with it the lash serum. They are getting longer. I got I went through a phase there where I quit wearing the lash serum. I just go to bed. I forget to put it on. And um suckers are starting to get out there. Growing, honey. Did you all know that we sell lash serum? Makes your lashes longer, fuller. 
I don't really talk about it because it's a nighttime routine, so I forget. I really need to do a skincare regimen with you guys one day. We need to talk all about skin. We need to just like sit here for like an hour and do a skincare tutorial. All right, let's get this on here. So we've got to do a lip. So I'm thinking in order to keep it simple. Now, if you want to do the kudos, you could do a spry lip. You could do a sublime lip, a stellar lip. Of course, I have Secure, which is a limited edition color from August Kudos that we had that is not available anymore. But I want you all to be able to use something that you can buy right now. So if you love it, you can get access to it. So I'll tell you what I'm going to do. Oh, I'm going to fall on the floor. That's exactly what I'm about to do. All right, let me find this color. Hold on. Um, this. We're going to use this. Who loves upper class lipstick? Upper class is like a rose champagne shimmer. It is a gorgeous color. We're going to blot out our lips. Stylish would be a good one too, Leanne. But I'm going to use a regular lipstick. Okay, I'm going to use a pouty liner. There's two lip liners that I would not go without. I about have a meltdown when they get down to the little nubs that they become. Um, you do not want to live without a pompous lip liner, and pouty is a must. And plush is a, a second, a close third. So you want to fill in the lips completely, okay? With the lip liner. Alright. See how it's got that rose gold look to it already? All right, so there is pouty. We're going to go right over top of that with upper class. And then I think for today, we're going to go right back and do what we did yesterday. Let me find it. Oh, it's over here. I'm going to use a little bit of this splurge cream shadow. If you have a metallic in a sh eyeshadow, you can do this as well. But you just hit the center of the lip to get a little bit of highlight. Mm. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Y'all. Palette 5. It's the bomb diggity. If, you don't, if you're scared of this palette, would you ever think that you could create this look with this palette? Well, you just saw me do it. Hey, Nancy. Thanks for jumping on with us. So, don't be afraid of Palette 5. These purples and pinks, too, are beautiful. You can create what they call a sunset eye. So, this is basically the whole exotic and hypnotic collection. You get um, this palette in that collection. You get a choice of liquid liner. You can pick up that green eyeliner that I just used. You also get an epic mascara and you get your eye primer, okay, in that collection. The collections did go off sale yesterday, but if you want to host a party, let me tell you something even better. If you host a party and you have a qualified party, you could get this collection at half off. So now it's not $140, it is what, $80? No, $70. No, $75. <laughs> I'm not good at math. It's half of 140. <laughs> but anyways, you could buy that collection at half off because you earn a half off item when you have a qualified party. So who wouldn't love to get all of that for half off? So if you're interested in setting up an online party, I am accepted parties right now. Just drop a comment here that says party and I will contact you today and we'll get that set up. Now, let's do a recap on this whole look, okay? So we started off, oh, I always forget this part. We want to set our makeup. Did you know you're supposed to set your makeup by, by you do an X and then a T. So it gets all the angles of your face. So I start off using Air Behold Setting Spray. I love the setting spray as a primer. It's very light. If you have oily skin, this is a great choice for you. We used a little bit of um, liquid foundation. I mixed taffeta and velour on my face. Today we did a contour with Malibu Bronzer, but these cheeks... We switched over and did a mixture of a pearly, 
illuminator as a blush and I also used a little bit of air bronzer as well. So then we jumped over to these brows. I did a medium brow liner and then on the eyes, let's talk about these eyes. We used eye primer and then we jumped over to this palette five, all this yummy goodness that gives you this gorgeous rose gold eye. So I used um, splurge cream shadow, which is something you probably might already have in your beauty bag all over my eye. Um, I then in the crease, laid in Suspicious, which is a slight orange, and then we used Vintage, which is the dark orange over top of it. Then on this outer corner, I flipped over and used Palette One, which is one that is very popular that most people have in their beauty bag, and I used Forthright on that outer corner. We topped it off with a green eyeliner today because I have green eyes and I'm wearing a green sweater, so it just made sense, right? Prosperous. This is the color of money green eyeliner then we used epic mascara 3d mascara and let's just talk about this lip for just a second we revisited this lip by using a pouty liner i used a upper class lipstick let me show you what that looks like again i've already put it away it's like a champagne shimmery rosy color it's gorgeous it's one of my very favorite colors and then i just tapped on a little bit of splurge cream in the middle to give that lip a little bit more of a pouty look and that's it you've got your rose gold look so you can do rose gold two ways, okay? You can do it with the splurge, I'm sorry, with the quad palette, which is available in the Kudos this month, or you can add the Hypnotic and Exotic collection and pick up palette five and get it that way. So there are so many ways to create looks, guys. You don't have to have it all, but you have to have a few things and know how to mix and match it and put it together, and that's where I come in. All right, I hope you guys love this look today. This is it. I'm going to sign off. I have not even finished my kombucha yet, so I've got to get this down. And we're going to go get some work today done early because my husband and I have a cooking cooking date tonight. I am teaching him how to cook. He wants to learn how to cook. So we are making stir fry tonight. So I've got to get my work done today so I can go get to the grocery store and get what I need and have my apron on and be ready tonight for our date night of cooking. So y'all wish me luck, okay? <laughs> You guys, oh, I'm, thank you so much, Lakeisha. I appreciate it, girl. Did anybody else? Okay, I didn't, I didn't miss anything else. You guys have a great day. Again, I'm Leslie Powell with The Cosmetic Clinic. I'm signing off on this awesome Friday. You guys wrap up, stay warm. It's cold here in Danville. If you love what you saw today and you found value in it or you know somebody else that would love this look, tag them down in the, the comments here um, so they can review it. Share it on your wall. That's how I grow my business. I appreciate you guys so much. You all have a great day. Bye.